Fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on Fuck them shoes, fuck the socks with the bell on it Fuck your gay ass very fat accent Fuck them cheap ass cigars Fuck your yuck mouth teeth Fuck your hair piece Fuck your chocolate Fuck Guy Ritchie Fuck Prince William Fuck the Queen This is America My Lambo is blue, nigga Now get the fuck out my hotel room And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of Fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on Fuck them shoes, fuck the socks with the bell on it Fuck your gay ass very fat accent Fuck them cheap ass cigars Fuck your yuck mouth teeth Fuck your hair piece Fuck your chocolate Fuck Guy Ritchie Fuck Prince William Fuck the Queen This is America My Lambo is blue, nigga Now get the fuck out my hotel room And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you today well um, I wanted to do another video about mind control and explain to you what I've learned since the last video and also I would like to inform the French Foreign Legion and Interpol and the Russians exactly what you're up against. Now, first of all, I need you to listen to me very carefully because this involves all your agents in the field and I want you to understand that DARPA, the CIA, NSA, Rothschilds, Windsors, MI5, MI666, are all against you and anybody that's trying to mess with their drug trade, their cartel that they've established throughout the world to run the governments with their corrupt politicians. Now, I'm going to say it again. CIA, NSA, DARPA, MI5, MI6, Federal Reserve Banking Cartel, the banksters, they're all in arms with the cartels around the world. And what do I mean by the cartels around the world? I mean the female cartel. I mean, the Gulf cartel that's run by the Bushes, the Mexican Bushes via the Bushes via the Skull and Bones. Because if you do your research on the Skull and Bones, you will find that the first Skull and Bones member was a heroin smuggler. They never stop. And if you look at 9-11 and what Bush did, Bush Jr., the heroin trade has tripled tenfold in the Middle East and now we have American soldiers guarding poppy fields, which poppy fields are used to make heroin. Nothing's changed. It is the same game, just on a whole nother financial, oh, I didn't do it because I have all this money level. So I want you to understand that even these stupid fucking Mexicans in the Gulf Cartel are being protected with DARPA technology, HARP technology, CIA technology, NSA technology. That's why they feel like that they can go on YouTube and make a video about cutting a woman's head off because they think they're untouchable. I want you to understand where these Mexican cartels are getting this ego from because it's not just coming from their guns. They are protected by the highest intel agencies in the world. Now, I want you to understand my neighbors, 
that just moved in. If you don't know how far the CIA has gone with robotics, if you don't know how far the CIA has gone with brain enhancement technology, you don't have a clue with what you're up against. And when I say brain enhancement technology, I posted an article on Dismantle the Central Intelligence Agency about brain hacking, where this woman has a device attached to her head, a black device, where all she has to do is think, and they can hack into her brain. Well, take that and put it as nanotechnology, Mix it with chemtrails that you breathe in and make the technology work both ways. You can hack or communicate. This is the technology that they have for their agents now. Interpol, Russians, and French. It is virtually undetectable People like Edward Snowden walked into Russia with it. People like Edward Snowden has been infecting Russian technology with his algorithms that are coming from the NSA, CIA, while pretending to be a truther. While leaking bullshit information that's already on the internet that well-studied people that have been fighting these motherfuckers have known for a long time, all of a sudden, Edward Snowden comes and gives you the CIA NSA version about the shit that they want you to know because it's inevitable that it comes out. Most of it is already out, has been out. So I want you to understand the mental, mental psychological game that they're playing they're psychopaths they're not original and once you start seeing the pattern you will begin to understand exactly how they operate and how they've programmed their computers their computers like echelon tempest harp these are their three major machines. If you don't know about Tempest, Tempest technology hooked up to one of these cyborg transhuman abominations can allow these inhuman things to hack into your computer just by thinking with enhanced Borg technology. And look at your computer screen through an enhanced nano that's hooked up to their visual cortex. Tempest specifically was a system that was built off algorithms and changing those algorithms to read electric current and changing that electric current to read the magnetic current that your body puts out and to transfer that into decipherable information. This is what Tempest was designed for in the early 70s. It's 2014. Tempest via the satellite that my neighbors have on their roof that they put up that has a closed communication circuit with their little cyborg transhuman son that's not human, he's a fucking demon. He's under the classification as a child assassin. And this is what they give these Mexican cartels to somewhat protect them. Because these women get with these fucking demonic men. And if you see the kid, he's, he's half white. He's light skinned. He's not dark like the other Mexicans. I have him filmed yesterday. You could see him at the car. He's not, he's not dark Mexican. 
But you can notice the other lady that I filmed and the other woman that I filmed, they're dark. He's not. So he's a half-breed, demonic, child, assassin with enhanced cyber technology in his fucking head. I can guarantee you that. So this is what you're up against. You're up against these things. So if you have a cell phone, let me tell you how they operate. If you have a cell phone with you and you come up against one of these things, they are supreme hackers. They can access Tempest, they can access Harp, they can access DARPA, which I can guarantee you Interpol agents and Russian agents and CIA agents, they have brain mapping on you if you have a cell phone. Now these demonic little half-breeds can access these things just with a thought. Go into your cell phone, push a frequency through your cell phone, and you already have nanotechnology in you. If you breathe, you have nanotechnology in you. This is why they're so psychotic about spraying chemtrails. So then he'll access the chemtrail nanotechnology in you and tell it to go to a specific part of your brain and take control of your brain of your motor functions and specifically make you do whatever it wants you to do. If you've ever seen a movie Scanners, this is basically Scanners with, with nanotechnology. Now what I've just explained to you is basically George Lucas's Jedi mind trick but on a nano transhuman level. George Lucas didn't sell Star Wars to Walt Disney, Nazi, Freemason, a satanic occult for nothing. So I want you to understand what you're actually, you're actually up against the Nazis Sith. That's what that kid is next door. He doesn't need a computer to go online. I can guarantee you that's what it is. So he was put here to protect the big drug dealers down the street because the CIA agents living across the street from them, they couldn't handle me. So now they brought in a cybernetic child assassin which has enhanced top of the line, transhuman upgrades. And he's a fucking demon. Let me tell you why I know he's a fucking demon. Because number one, what's a demon, huh? A demon is something without a soul. We were designed as humans that only humans can carry souls. These abominations that these Nazis have tried to make since World War II and tried to make an enhanced human or an enhanced demon but look like a human, this is what you have. Take a good look at that film. I want you to understand what I've been dealing with, what I've fought, what the Legionnaires have been up against, and what comes after us, what comes after me, what comes after Laurel Aston as child assassins to try to shut us down. Because if they don't have a computer or even a cell phone, you're thinking, oh, they're harmless. They're not a hacker. 
you don't know about DARPA, Dolce, Enhanced Cybernetics, the transhuman agenda, how these Nazis think that they can come back with these enhanced demonic clones and become gods. They hack into your mind. They hack into your magnetic field. So I want you to understand exactly how. The NSA, the CIA, DARPA, HARP, the Chemtrail Committee, Skull and Bones, all the satanic witches across the world, the occult, they pride themselves on these abominations because I want you to understand they operate on algorithms, people. Algorithms that are designed to go inside computers quicker than you can think about it and take control of computers. We're talking about demons that are hooked up to multi-trillion dollar facilities. How fast do you think they are? Faster than you can think, but not me. Because if they were faster than I could think, you wouldn't be hearing this. The fact of the matter is what I want you to understand is I was or I am a child assassin. I was taken by the CIA and Project Montauk and trained and programmed and they programmed my brain to work like a computer. Now I want you to understand that they've been doing this to everyone. If you watch TV, they've been programming your brain to watch like a computer, I mean to work like a computer and to watch like a computer. And what I mean by watch, well, did you see in the Matrix people when Keanu Reeves gets explained that if you're not out of the matrix and you're hooked up to the matrix you're one of them and then the the bad guy in the matrix can just jump into you and take over your spirit and soul do you think that was a joke it wasn't so that's what i mean by watching you because they watch you they can literally if you have their nanotechnology in your head they can literally jack into your visual cortex and see what you see they can literally jack into your audio cortex and listen to what you are listening to they can jack into your mental cortex and read your thoughts and record all of this. If you don't believe me, look at the videos and read the pictures that will be posted in this video. This is single-handedly what DARPA is. They want to be that precognitive police shit in case, oh, you're thinking about killing somebody, we got you. No, it's not like that. In case you want to stop the Nazis, we gonna kill you or make you kill yourself. This is their technology in a nutshell. So I want you to understand that they're programming everybody's brain to operate like a computer for one specific reason. So their algorithms can take control of everybody, anybody, wherever they want. I want you to understand that the key thing that their algorithm does the key thing that they do to assassins Child assassins. Child assassins that grow up to be assassins. I want you to understand one and zero. 
And then another one and zero. 10, 10. 10, 10 is on off in computer language. This is the most used, most important thing in their algorithm. I want you to exactly understand why and I'm going to explain it exactly. Okay, say when I was a child, I studied in Japan with Japanese ninja masters. They trained me well. They trained me how to be undetectable. They trained me how to be the most deadly, lethal assassin known to man. As a child. And then the CIA, after this training, took me back to Project Montauk. This training took about 10 years. So they took me back to Project Montauk after the training. And let's say they took me at when I was 10 years old. or took me when I was seven years old, or five years old. Because martial arts training can actually start when you can walk. So whenever they took me, let's say it lasted 10 years to make me the most lethal fucking assassin known to man. So then after this, they take me back to Project Montauk after the training to administer their programming, to administer their algorithm, to administer their mark. And what do I mean by mark? Well, they programmed an altar into me. They called it Marcus. This was the first altar that they programmed into me. After they programmed my computer to work like ones and zeros. Marcus was the altar that served the purpose of keeping my assassin under control. Marcus was the, is the altar inside of me, the demon, that they put on me to control the algorithms of my special abilities. Marcus was the encoder to my brain, to all my triggers that are the on off switch, 10, 10. Okay, switch Dean off. Switch Mr. Zacchaeus off. Switch the assassin on. Do you understand? And then the assassin is on and Marcus is the handler of the assassin. Marcus is like the filter in between Echelon and Tempest and all of their algorithms and encoding to control the child assassin. Every child assassin, every assassin, every mind control victim, it works like this. And then say they want to control another multiple. They go through Marcus and create another multiple with some of the assassin's skills, with the assassin's accuracy, with the assassin's intelligence, but it's only a shooter. It's only specifically this or that. So they access Marcus and access a new altar. I don't know, you can call him Umfufu. I don't give a fuck. So they say, Umfufu, you're gonna shoot like this and you're gonna be the best shooter and you're gonna shoot 10 bullets through 
the whole of a dime and do all 10 bullets through that dime. Completely inaccurate. And Um Fufu does exactly that. Now you have the assassin, the shooter. Anybody heard of the shooter? Nazis? So now you're starting to get hip to mind control. And you can understand that I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So I strongly urge you to listen to Project Superman, the Andy Perot story. It's eight hours, but it's very informative. Nazis don't want you to know about Andy Perot. I ain't Andy Perot, motherfuckers. That was your white Superman. You got Andy Perot. You put him back under control. You ain't got me under control. You never had me. And I ain't your black Superman, bitch. I don't give a fuck if all the streets in Cancun say Supermanza. This is how the CIA set up all of their super soldier shit. In Cancun. See, these cartels think that they're invincible because they got these Superman Mexican assassins. Let me tell you something, Superman. You met your kryptonite, bitch. And that's the truth, because you ain't shit. Let me explain what Superman is. Superman, look at Superman number one. Go online and look at the bullshit. Take a good look at your foundation, Superman. Bad art from stupid fucking Nazis that can't really write, that can't really fucking draw, and the shit's pathetic. I mean, Superman don't make no sense at all. Let's get it straight, okay? I know I'm going to go off the subject of mind control, but I want to get their Superman shit straight to show these Nazi motherfuckers that are like, oh, Superman, Superman this, Superman's uh. Let's get your shit straight, Nazis. You created a, a superhero that came from outer space, an alien. To take control of the human race like a god, right? That gets his power off sun gazing, which that comes from Africans. Because we were born under the sun. And that's why we're divine and meek. But, you know, here's your so-called white god, right? Zionist Ashkenazi Nazis. That's who created Superman. Their big white hope. So then you got a stupid motherfucker that supposedly is the most powerful man on earth and he just can't like in, in, in the first instance just go around and just kill all of these satanic motherfuckers and the fact is, oh, he can't. You know why? You know why Superman can't kill witches? Because he's weak to witchcraft. What kind of shit is that? I mean, the most powerful so-called Superman in the world can't kill him with bullets, can't kill him with nuclear radiation, but he's vulnerable to witchcraft. <laughs> yeah. That's your Superman, dumbasses. How fucking pathetic. So then DC Comics creates Shazam, a Superman that's made of magic. <laughs> so now, I mean, you're starting to see the patheticness of what these Nazis are really trying to create 
and with their comic books. I mean, they started comic books with Nazi propaganda. This is why a lot of the Disney scientists secretly went to work, or excuse me, Nazi scientists went to work for Disney as their comic book artists. Disney is a Nazi organization. Walt Disney was a 33rd degree Freemason. Satanic order. Always is, always will be. If you don't believe me, type in Walt Disney Satanism. Walt Disney Freemasonic or Freemasons. See how much shit comes up on the internet and read. Oh, and you can also read all the little articles that they put about, oh, Disney getting, you know, problems with Freemasons and saying that they're satanic and all these articles that they wrote trying to whitewash and downplay their shit. So also I want you, when you go online and type Disney and Satanism or Disney and pedophilia or Disney and Freemasons, why don't you type images? Hit images after you type this. And see all the pictures that comes up. The one that I really like is the Donald Duck ride where the kid sits on it and Donald Duck's beak is right in your crotch. Oh, yeah, 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 you heard me. The little child ride with Donald Duck where it looks like Donald Duck is either giving you a blowjob or eating you out if you sit on that ride. Look for that picture or look for the picture with all the Disney pictures with all the Disney dicks drawn in it. But Walt Disney's trying to downplay their shit, right? So anyway, back to mind control, which Walt Disney is, is at the top of it because they go after your kids. Interpol, Russians, French. French Foreign Legion and any other motherfucking assassin that gives a fuck about kids or was a kid himself and is sick of this shit. You can't turn on the TV. You can't turn on the radio. You can't turn on your computer. You can't turn on your cell phone without DARPA shooting its algorithms inside your head. This is a fact. Read what is posted in the videos because it's only going to be about mind control. So DARPA, we're coming for your fucking algorithms, bitch. Because they're straight up wicked programmed and sanctioned and cursed by nothing but witches that are run and controlled by demons. These so-called hybrids that they want you to embrace. Oh, we took you. The aliens took you as, as a child and impregnated you and we only took your little eggs because we gave you growth hormones and then we grew it in a special, you know, tube and now we got the hybridization of your so-called kids and now they're walking around stalking you, keeping you under control because they actually operate on the same brain frequency as you because they actually have your DNA. DARPA. NSA. MI666. Now let me say it again in a not so joking way. In a more of a scientific way. Let's use Laurel Aston as an example because she's gone on record about Mr. Rapist, pedophile, and he ain't from this timeline. Mr. Stephen Binion. Laura Aston has gone on record stating that Stephen Binion was Lucifer's chosen 
to go around and spread his demonic seed. Now, if you watch a film called The Nazi Occult, it will explain to you how during the Nazi movement, all the Nazi soldiers were encouraged to rape, have as much sex as they want, and to have billions of babies. Now, one of the most disturbing parts in this film is when you see these Nazi soldiers had so many fucking babies, they just have babies coming down on an assembly line. And you see huge, massive rooms filled with Nazi babies. Now imagine that they didn't have the technology and the test tube technology that they do today. Those are old school pictures. They haven't shown you the new school pictures with the test tubes and shit that look more like the Matrix when all the people are hooked up to them and shit where they can just program their little hybrid demons. Oh yeah. So this is what you have now. But going back to Laurel Aston and Mr. Binion, let me tell you what I suspect this little fucking demonic white Mexican demon is next door to me. He ain't got my blood. If he did, he'd be darker than those fucking Mexicans that he's with. So... He might be in hybridization from Stephen Binion and some Laurel Aston DNA. Let me tell you how these little sick demonic fucks operate. They have enhanced cybernetic technology in their brain where they can control nanos that they're shooting at you, literally shooting at you into your head so they can reestablish a connection that only you and them have. So say this little demonic fuck next door has some of Laurel Aston's recent DNA, which, you know, they could have gotten in a number of ways. From the trash per se because it doesn't take long to grow them people they can grow these little clones in a matter of weeks now and then they program them speed learning they had that in project Montauk so I want you to understand you take a little bit of this DNA mix it with you know, some other fucking demon like Stephen Binion, his DNA that's, that he's had interaction with Miss Aston because everything in DNA, you know, it's encoded, especially with them. So then they grow this little demonic bitch. Then they get two little fucking dumbass Mexican cartel bitches Go to them and say, okay, we're going to buy you a new car. We're going to give you a new house. But you got to take care of him. This is our new assassin. Okay? Okay! And here they are. So... Welcome to the stakeout, Interpol. This is what you're up against. But don't worry. I got this little demon bitch. They don't got shit on me. Because actually, they're too afraid to clone my DNA. <laughs> because they don't have me under control. They will never have me under control. So anyway, now you understand, you're getting a good, clear picture of what you're up against. 
And now, you know, Interpol, Russia, France, when you thought, oh, and that, that memory, that blocked memory starts to surface where you thought, oh, that, what happened to this and what, ha wiping, men in black style, but they don't use the flashes. They use this nanotechnology to go inside your head with brain mapping and to put a trigger exactly where they don't want you to remember things and change that memory of whatever it is. They do this on a massive scale and they do this with their little demons because they have these little hybrid demons around everybody in specific parts of the world and if you strategically put them in specific parts of the world enough of them they can all operate and do this together in the show called fringe you know that's about exactly what i'm talking about mind control and child assassins they explain this whole thing on tv if you haven't seen Fringe, Interpol, French Foreign Legion, Russians, I strongly urge you to watch Fringe, all of it. And then listen to my video again. And then listen and watch all my mind control videos. Because these witches own their networks. They put this shit on TV to pride themselves on it, to throw their shit in your face. Yeah, we got this. Watch this little stupid bitch. But if you say anything about it, ain't nobody gonna believe you. It's on TV. We own TV. We got everybody brainwashed. We can put everything that we do on TV and no one will believe you. the essence of witchcraft and these psychopaths. And every single one of them is like this. Oh, and, and hey, Russians, hey, French Foreign Legion, hey, Interpol, I'm gonna do something old school, I love this shit. Now, while I've been talking, while I've been doing this video, and talking loud enough so that little demonic bitch can hear me. What's he been doing? <laughs> and only you know because you got infrared and shit. See, y'all, at Legion, you know when I speak, all these motherfuckers get weak. They're psychotic, see? He just hit the wall. <laughs> see, y'all couldn't hear that on the microphone, <laughs> but... He just, he just hit the wall. He's been hitting the walls all night. They're super menza. Because he's, he's busted. See, these motherfuckers get told that, that they're the supreme soldier and they're the supreme warrior and this and this and this. But they didn't prepare them for this. The truth. And so all they do, all they can do is freak out and kick and hit the walls. They're psychopaths. I mean, imagine you're born, you're equivalent to the modern day Superman. No one can stop you. You have cybernetic enhancements and don't worry, this is your first assignment. You are here to take out Mr. Zacchaeus and Laurel Aston. You are the best of the best. No one can beat you. This shit they tell them and they believe it. So, I mean, people... Don't think that this is the first time I've done this. It's not. So I want you to know all these motherfuckers around here, all on infrared, infra blue, infra green, they're all being watched. And they can all hear me. So now that they've already done all the shit that they've done, and yes, we can see your facial expressions, motherfuckers. I've been doing this from Romania to France and back to America. 
This is the best way of dealing with them without innocent people getting hurt. Honest to God. So anyway, understand the algorithm shit. It's what they're doing. DARPA, everybody involved in it, needs a bullet. What, I mean, what, what, what else am I supposed to say, huh? They're run by fucking demons. That's the honest to God truth. What, DARPA, you gonna hack into me and try to make me kill myself like Robin Williams? Huh? But actually, Robin Williams didn't kill himself. If you watch the video on YouTube that explains that it's impossible to hang yourself on a closed door with a fucking belt, and then on Family Guy, how they have like Robin Williams that actually turns into the door, and then, um, what is it, I think, um, the guy from Family Guy is contemplating suicide and has a gun to his head and then the gun turns into Robin Williams. Watch that episode, people. He didn't kill himself. He was an Illuminati sacrifice that came a day after I contacted my Russian friend asking him for help. And it is as simple and as plain, or as plain and clear as that. I contact my Russian friends, and I'm always in contact with Anna and the Kremlin, but I specifically contact my specific friend. And the next day, Robin Williams, Russia's greatest comedian, to ever make it in America just, you know, hangs himself on a door. Yeah. That's how psychopathic these guys are. And they've been planning it. They've been flaunting that shit in the family guy because Robin's been fighting it. So anyway, walk in the light, have a good day. This is um, a little bit more down the rabbit hole so people can understand it is not bullshit and understand their algorithms. And yes, Nazis, CIA, Skull and Bones, MI666, I know about Marcus, your mark. I'm going to leave you with this. What is a mark? A mark, all you criminals know what a mark is. I'm a mark right now. I was marked by the Rothschilds, Windsors, and then that mark was fed down to Project Montauk, and then Project Montauk fed it down to the Mexican cartel secretly through their assassins. And me and Laurel Aston are marked. Marked for what? Marked for death. Because they want us dead. Because of what they did to us and they don't want anybody knowing. So if Robin Williams or any of you other mind control assassins had half a brain you would start talking. So anyway, a mark is somebody that's marked. Marked by the beast, maybe? Ooh. Yeah, by the beast. By them witches. By them Satanist bitches. So now you get it. So they actually called the altar that was in control of all my algorithms through Echelon, through Tempest, through Harp, that, you know, Harp is the most governmental secret encrypted encoding of the U.S. government because we need it because we need to communicate through the earth. So Marcus was the altar that they used to control me. So all the algorithms coming in from these demons, from this little bitch and these witches next door to me, they access Marcus. 
Oh, Marcus, what's he thinking? Marcus, what's he doing? Marcus, we got a problem. Oh, Marcus, what's that? Oh, shit, he thought that. He's doing this. He's thinking this. Marcus, shut that down. Shut that down, Marcus. Marcus, shut that down. Marcus, do this. Marcus, do this. Oh, he thought this. Marcus, shut that down. In a nutshell, this is what their algorithms that are consistently coming into me and my magnetic field are doing. This is what they're doing to you on a subconscious level. With me, it's not subconscious anymore. I'm very conscious of it. If I wasn't conscious of it, NSA, CIA, MI5, MI666, wicked bitches, I wouldn't know his name is Marcus. So now again today, I release their altar's name and it is m the most important name to them because it is single-handedly the name of the programmed altar that they programmed into me that they access through algorithms, through my computer, through cell phones, through this little fucking satanic, half-bred fucking demonic little bitch living next to me accesses or tries to access my mental capacity. Because Marcus is specifically trained on my specific algorithm of my magnetic field. And trust me, everyone has an altar like this. It is the name, basically, what they try to name your computer. Your altar, yeah, they give your computer a name. The computer that they try to program into you. It has a name. Mine was named Marcus. I did everything in my power to kill that bitch. If it wasn't true, you wouldn't be listening to this. How else would I have gotten my mind control codes? Now, I want you to understand mind control assassins. You know what you're up against. You're up against basically yourself with forced programming. Because that computer is the thing that was designed to control you. And my computer demon that they programmed into me was named Marcus. So NSA, CIA, Project Montauk, Bullshit, stupid, bitch-ass Mexican golf cartel. Eat a fat dick and choke on it. What you got now without Marcus, huh? What you got now that Marcus's name is fucking public and you can't even hack into me, bitch? What you got now, huh? You know what I'm capable of. And I'll destroy your little bitch next door. Oh, I got a trillion ways to destroy him. Bitch is so scared of me. All of you are. Let's be honest. Because without Marcus, you ain't got shit on me, cops. Caesar Augusta. Mr. Working for the cartel to steal 70 grand from me? And then you have been also accessing Marcus. That's why he's living across the street. He got that shit too. He was the bitch that was doing it before they moved this bitch next door to me. See, you guys don't understand. How long have I known about Marcus, huh? Do you think I've just now learned about Marcus? You're fucking stupid. Do you think I came back to the United States after having my girlfriend slaughtered by the cartel and I wasn't aware of Marcus? What, you think I haven't been using Marcus against you to get inside your system? You're stupid.
You have no idea how far down the rabbit hole this goes, wicked witches, but you're about to find out. Because honestly, who's in control? Who's scared as shit now that the shit's going down like this? Who's inside whose system? NSA, CIA, DARPA, MI666 wicked bitches. The only thing you can do at this point is try to delete all Marcus encodings and hope that that helps. But let me remind you, it's been how long? Two years? And um, how much power do I have access to? It's a thought, fools. Peace. I'm slapping the shit out of you. Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on, fuck them shoes, fuck your sock with the bell on it, fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent, fuck them cheap ass cigars, fuck your yuck mouth teeth, fuck your hair piece, fuck your chocolate, fuck Guy Ritchie, fuck Prince William, fuck the queen. This is America for my Lambo, you nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes, fuck your socks with the bell on it Fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent Fuck them cheap ass cigars Fuck your yuck mouth teeth Fuck your hair piece Fuck your chocolate Fuck Guy Ritchie Fuck Prince William Fuck the Queen This is America But my Lambo is blue nigga Now get the fuck out my hotel room And if I see you in the street I'm snapping the shit out of you